Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here, and I'm now joined by the one man. I can't think of a more perfect man to talk with about Perfect Dark than Ken Lobb, creative director for Microsoft, Microsoft Game Studios. How you doing, sir? Doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. So we are coming up on the 10th anniversary of the release of Perfect Dark on the N64. Yep. And now it's coming to Xbox Live Arcade. How's that process gone? So it's excellent. So we spent about the last 11 months. We took the original engine, mm -hmm. ported it over to the 360, up resed all the textures, replaced the uh, new geometry on the guns, uh -huh. new geometry on the character models, all new skyboxes. And then, of course, we took everything that was multiplayer right. and moved it over onto live. Cool. So you have co-op, counter-op, challenges, and, of course, multiplayer, all playable live. Multiplayer, you can play eight players on live. Now, do I have to, like, plug an expansion pack into the Xbox 360 yeah, I couldn't to get find the... the port, so we had to make it run without the expansion. <laughs> all right. You can always come out with that later, and then we can, you know, double the player count yeah, again yeah. or something like that. <laughs> This game holds a, a very special place in a lot of players' hearts. You know, this and, and, you know, I mean, Rare's first-person shooters, both of them, this and, this and GoldenEye. Yep. Uh, how do you think it stands up over the years? I mean, first-person shooters on consoles have just grown by leaps and bounds since then. How do you think that players that didn't grow up alongside these games will will take to it? Yeah, so that's something we were wondering when we make it. We know it's a solid nostalgia play. If you love PD before, right. if you love GoldenEye before, you're the target audience. But we do lots of usability on all of our games, and we brought in a bunch of first-person shooter players, and they all loved it. Is it is it completely true to the original game? Is the KL-01313 in there? The, yes, indeed. The, the clob. The homage to the clob. Yep, the clob leap speak is in there. Not, not only that, we have, again, the original Perfect Dark had the three GoldenEye maps. Right. Felicity, which is a facility, Temple uh -huh. and Complex, they're in here. But the other thing the original Perfect Dark had was it had all the GoldenEye guns, uh -huh. but they were in Carrington Institute behind glass. Now we've pulled them into multiplayer. Okay. So you can take all the original GoldenEye weapons into multiplayer as well. Wow. So it's the, yeah, there's there's other new stuff in here that's also interesting. Like, we, we know that there are some players that are want achievements. And so yeah. we didn't want to lock achievements by, behind some of the crazy bars that people would jump over when they played the original. Right. But we wanted to satisfy those people. So we came up with an award system where there's like ridiculous, crazy, hard thing to do in every level that will unlock some special goodies for those fans out there that are able to, you know, like, do the crazy speed runs on Perfect Agent. Right. You know, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> can I get you to play a little bit of it? And Absolutely. Maybe we can talk through some of it. Uh, how have the controls changed at all? I mean, do you have different uh, button mappings, something like that in there? Do you change the rotation or any of that stuff? So we wanted it to feel exactly like PD. If, if there was something we did wrong with PDZ, uh -huh. we tried to make kind of a hybrid between what would feel like Perfect Dark and what would feel like something like Halo. This time we're like, no, we're making Perfect Dark. We want it to feel exactly like Perfect Dark. On the other hand, we know that from a button mapping perspective, lots mm -hmm. of people play Halo. So we have a weapon, we have a control set called Spartan. Okay. Lots of people play another first person shooter that I love very much. So we have a control set called Duty Calls. Okay. Now, all those do is just remap the buttons so your reload is where you expect it to be, right. your duck is where you expect it to be. Okay. It still aims like Perfect Dark. Again, we wanted it to feel this kind of bam, auto aim, right? I mean, yeah. The game is designed around whipping through a level super fast. And so right, it's, it's, right. it was important for us to keep rotation speed, acceleration, you know, and most important, you know, agent auto aim, secret agent auto aim, perfect agent auto aim. Right, okay. So if, if you're a fan of the series, it will feel natural. Nice. The other thing that's nice, though, about it, you play the game on agent, and if you're uncomfortable with first-person shooters, it's very accessible. You know, you just kind of point a, about at somebody and... Pull the trigger. It'll, it'll get him. Down they go, baby. Nice. Oh, look, there's one. No, no, he's not. Oh, here's another one. Oh, and your cousin. Oh, look at that. I missed. Uh, not anymore. So did this have to be coded from the ground up, or is some of it emulated N64 so code? No emulation. Okay. So we, we ported the entire game, new, new renderer, and that actually helped us, because if we had tried to emulate the N64 and then strap live on top, on top of it, of it would have been tough. Yeah. So we wanted to write it from scratch anyway. It's not really our code to emulate the N64. Oh, yeah. So yeah. write the game from scratch. That made implementing live a lot easier. So the game is butter on cool. live. All right. Well, Ken, thanks again for your time. Perfect Dark, uh, available in March. Look for it. Yeehaw.